settings. So, so okay, go settings. back. Yeah. Um, we are in the camera. We have the settings uh, where you can uh, choose um, that you want raw files off or on, uh, if you want to save yeah. it in raw and uh, JPEG. And um, if you want to uh, create the depth map, um, you have to activate it in a separate uh -huh, okay. uh, You can put, turn it on and off. It's, it's a simple reason. Depth map is quite an effort in calculation and yeah. time consuming. And in many occasions, you, you do not want or do not need it. Therefore, we have the option to, to switch it. Let's say it's on. Yeah. Now it's on. And then you can start right on and taking the image. Uh, what, just for your explanation, what you see here in the, in the, in the preview is always the image of this camera. Mm -hmm. Only one ah, camera. Okay. So, yeah. If you see this, you cannot touch the final image quality. It's just the quality of one uh -huh. camera. Yeah. Only after you press the shutter button, okay. all five cameras take the, the image. Um, let me do it. And when I go to the gallery, you see a preview image that is blurry. Mm -hmm. It takes yeah. a few seconds until... Uh, but you can continue shooting. Yes, yes, you can continue shooting, but now it takes a few seconds. Now it's finished uh, processing uh, to have the final image. And here, in, in, the, in the editing, you can change the color. You can do some fancy things like the color pop. Everything is black oh. and white. No, just is that a Google feature or something? I think it's a Google feature. Yeah. Color pop. But, uh, but in combination with our very accurate depth map, um, it's it's working very fine. Yeah. Um, I go back to our original account, and here in the setting uh, we have the depths um, and where we can set background blur, foreground blur, and uh, if we grab uh, that, uh, oh, we, can, we can do uh, blurring wherever we want, set the focus at any position of the image. Yeah. So that is what you need to know um, uh, for, the, for the basic um, operation of, of the film. Yeah. And here, um, let me go back to the gallery. Um, this is the normal camera gallery uh, with the shots I just took. And here we have a, a set gallery of selected pictures, also unedited, originally taken with uh, the Nokia 9. Uh, but some nice shot, nicer than yeah, my yeah. face or anything else. Uh, we could take these two. Yeah. Why not? All, all these shots. Yeah. And, and this is a very nice shot taken in the hotel here. Mm -hmm. um, about the depth, depth effect. It's so funny. You can, uh, you can, you can go downstairs. Oh, that's amazing. This is amazing, yeah. yeah. So it's it's funny. So these are all some demo images. Also here, um, very nice demo images uh, for for the uh, low light performance and HDR. You have the very dark uh, parts, or um, and the very bright parts. And oh, that's you, what you, mean. Yeah, you see all the, the detail. Shadow, yeah. This is really really dark. And this is really bright in the, in the bright sunshine, yeah. and uh, you capture all the detail everywhere. That's like the human eye. Even yeah, like the human eye. Sometimes even more, and that that is sometimes if 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 you overdo it, if you do too much HDR, uh, the, the images do not look natural because uh, the dynamic range is even higher than the human eye. And then you look to the image on the first side; it's mind blowing. But you look to it and say, it's strange. Because it's not the natural view you have. Um, therefore, you have to be careful in, in the image tuning. You can make image very aggressive image tuning that in color or in HDR. Or so, that on the first side is mind blowing. You think, wow. But if you look closer to it or more critical to it, you think, it's, it's, it's not re the real thing. And uh, therefore, we try um, to keep as natural as possible, and that's a nice thing about the H, uh, the, the raw files. If anyone wants want it in a different way, it, they can feel free to do it anyway.
Right. Uh, can you show us the multiple shots, the burst shots, how they are operating? I, I think I did it in uh, in a demo. So some people uh, say uh, uh, no, with the camera up, yeah. like sh uh, the, uh, shooting the burst shot. Because you just there were concerns it. that you need to wait for the process to be I done. Uh, no, to just on the camera, but uh, hold the the button uh, longer. Yeah. So I have to admit, I never tried it. Um, Yeah, mm. so it's doing. Yeah, but I would say it's, it's it should be fast speed. enough. Yeah, yeah, reasonable speed. Are there so all processing probably? Yeah, you now yeah. need to choose. Uh, no, it's a burst mode. It's a burst mode. Uh, exactly. Okay, so. okay, so it's a burst mode probably taken with one one camera, not with five. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, probably. Okay. We will. But you can like this one. Uh, oh yeah, that's. There's no slowdown. No slowing down. Yeah. Okay. Then the the, uh, the calculation is in the background. Yeah, in the yeah, background. Yeah. yeah. They told us up to ten shots. It can be taken without uh, device slowing down. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a huge amount yeah, of data yeah, yeah. that we are handling. Uh, so in a standard shot, it's 60 megapixels that we yeah. are recalculating, 5 times 12 megapixels. And uh, depending to the uh, scenery, also, we also do stacking of images that could be up to 240 megapixels. And that is really, really uh, demanding to, to, to the computing power of the device. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome.